Hello students. In this video, we are going to solve for an unknown function. Now we're given the differential equation y primed equals mt. So you have the derivative is equal to mt. And you're told that some initial value is uh, minus 4 at some value t naught. Now we need to find out what m is, we need to find out what this initial value t naught is, and we need to solve for the function. Um, we're going to use this graph to help us out. So we're going to have to keep our independent and dependent variables straight. Right. The first thing we're going to do is solve the differential equation. So we have y primed of t equals mt. Now to undo this derivative, we're going to integrate both sides and we will have an indefinite integral. Now we're integrating with respect to t, so that's simple to do. m is a constant, so we're going to pull it out of the integral and we're just going to integrate t, and the integral of t is 1 half t squared. So I'll just write that as m over 2 t squared, and then we need an arbitrary constant, plus c. So we have a form for our solution. Next, we're going to answer these three questions. What is t naught? That's the initial value. What is c? We need to know that so that we can get the function here. But we're also going to use c to help us determine what m is. So first, let's get t naught. That one's easy. From the graph, y of 0 is minus 4. Now we're told that y of t naught equals minus 4 as well. And there's only one place where the graph is equal to minus, or crosses the axis at minus 4, and that's when t is 0. So therefore, t naught is 0. And it's clear I made a mistake here. So that should be 0. Easy to fix. I was thinking of minus 4 there. All right, no problem. Easy to fix. Now um, that we have what t naught is, we're going to determine the arbitrary constant. So we're told that y of 0 is equal to minus 4. Once again, I'm reusing that, and we know that t naught is 0. We got that from the previous um, problem. So, uh, on the one hand, y naught is zero. Uh, y of zero is equal to minus four. On the other hand, if I plug that into this function, y of zero, I plug zero in for t, and this cancels, and we get zero. So that leaves us with only c on the right hand side and minus four on the left hand side, and we get that c is minus four. So if c is minus 4, then our function looks like this. So let's continue on and find out what m is. So from the graph, if we look here, y of 3 is 3. It crosses the, the um, point 3, 3. Um, so this is the t-axis, and this is the y-axis. So when t is 3, y is 3. So uh, I'm going to use that, and it's going to look a lot like this initial value here. y of 3, on the one hand, y is 3 when t is 3. So I plug in t is 3, and I simplify this. This is 9 over 2 m minus 4. And now I just have an algebraic equation to solve. So I multiply both sides by 9 halves. These cancel here on this side. Oh, first I add 4 to each side, that cancels there, I get 7, then I multiply both sides by 2 9ths, that cancels here, and I isolate m, 2 times 7 is 14, 9 times 1 is 9, so m is 14 ninths. Okay, check. Now that I have what m is, so I plug in m is 14 ninths, t naught is 0, and now I look back at this form of the equation, and I plug in m is 14 ninths, the 2 and the 14 cancel to give us a 7. So I get 7 9 t squared plus or minus 4, and I'll just write that as minus 4. So my equation is y of t equals 7 9 t squared minus 4. And that's how you solve this initial value problem. All right, good luck.